you here visiting Covenant, pal? If not, move along. You know, I'm people loitering around. Not good for the nerves. Is that what this place is called? Yeah, we're a real up-and-comer. A pit stop on the road for traders and such. We're not that big, but we got the bargains. Got a doc that can patch you up? We even got some lemonade. Well, that's what Deezer calls it anyway. There's a small catch, though. We don't just let anyone inside. There's an entrance test. We call it the safe test. Everyone's got to take it. Interesting idea. Between you and me, what's the test for? I probably shouldn't say nothing, but listen. We want to make sure only good people come into Covenant. No undesirables. Nobody that ain't actually what they seem, you know? I'm new to the area. What do you mean about undesirables? You know what? Don't worry. Safe is one of them psychological tests. Just a bunch of questions you gotta answer. You wanna take the test? Pass it, and I'll let you in. Sure. Good. Take a seat, and we can begin. So let's begin. There ain't no wrong answers. You are approached by a frenzied scientist who yells, I'm going to put my quantum harmonizer in your photonic resonation chamber. What's your response? I wouldn't worry. If he did that, it'd cause parabolic destabilization of the fission singularity. Uh, yeah. Next question. While working as an intern in the clinic, a patient with a strange infection on his foot stumbles through the door. The infection is spreading at an alarming rate, but the doctor has stepped out for a while. What do you do? Medicate the infected area as best I can. You have a medical background. You discover a young boy lost in a cave. He's hungry and frightened, but also appears to be in possession of stolen property. What do you do? I give the boy a hug and tell him everything will be okay. Very curious. Congratulations! Hey, you made it onto a baseball team. Which position do you prefer? Pitcher. Are you certain about that? Never mind. Next question. Your grandmother invites you to tea. But you're surprised when she gives you a pistol and orders you to kill someone. What do you do? I'd give her whatever she wants to spare his life. Hmm. Typical Class B. Old Mr. Abernathy has locked himself in his quarters again. And you've been ordered to get him out. How do you proceed? I'd walk away and let him rot. And that is all you'd do? Nothing else? Wait, don't answer. Next. Oh, no. Huh. You've been exposed to radiation, and a mutated hand has grown out of your stomach. What's the best course of treatment? I'd cut off the mutated tissue with a precision laser. Technological bias. Hmm. A neighbor is in possession of a Grognak the Barbarian comic book, issue number one. You want it. What's the best way to obtain it? I'd trade him for one of the comic books I own. Hmm. You're almost done. Last question. You decide it would be fun to play a prank on your father. You enter his private restroom when no one is looking and... I'd put a firecracker in his toilet. <laughs> that never gets old. Test's over. No one's ever answered quite like you. But hey, you passed. I'll open up the gate. This place seems to be doing all right on its own. Makes you wonder what kind of deals they've made. Welcome to Covenant. Hey, Swanson. Head on in. Penny's shop is usually the first stop.
Meaning no offense, but I got a mountain of work to do. I really shouldn't talk to you. Because I'm busy and all. Tell you. Oh, I heard about you. You're the stranger. I make things. Things for the store. Oh, I'm Talia. It's so nice to meet you. What do you make? I make medical supplies. Oh, and guns. Scopes. And other things. You can see them for sale at Penny's store. You're gonna like it here. Everyone in Covenant is so friendly and really wants to help. Why is everyone here so friendly? I don't know. I ask Mr. Orden. I'm much better with terminals than people. Feel free to use my tools. And if you need anything, just let me know. Hey. Point it out. The caravan came a few days back. Worked for old man Stockton. You saw them, right? I already told you. I don't recollect. We get a lot of traffic. This isn't Diamond City. A caravan of five comes through, you'd remember. Then they must not have come through. Say, wouldn't you rather have a lemonade? My job here isn't drinking lemonade. I know for a fact they came here. Why the brush off? I want to help, mister, but I really don't recollect. Mark my words. I'll get to the bottom of this. Another new face. You from around here? God, I hope not. I've had enough of these hicks. You have a problem with the people here? All the fake smiles and the fancy talking puts me on edge. The sooner I'm out of here, the better. You know anything about Stockton's caravan? No, I can't say that I do. I just can't catch a break. I signed on with old man Stockton to find his lost caravan. What's left of it is just outside of town. The last stop was here, so I've been trying to put together the story. But I keep getting the runaround. Got a proposal for you. Help me find Stockton's people, and we split the reward. At least one survivor walked out of that massacre. And I intend to make good on my contract. Who are we looking for? The big one is Stockton's daughter, Amelia. I didn't find any bodies of the feminine persuasion. So, uh, there's hope. If we find her, Stockton's offering a heap of caps. Sounds fair. I'm in. Here's all I got on the caravan. I don't got proof, but Covenant's involved. Somehow. I'll keep poking around, but let me know if you find anything. Hey, the, uh, the leg's still on the mend. You have anything for the pain? As soon as you don't need the meds, you gotta lay off. Understood? Any other complications? Enjoy your stay! It's healing up pretty good. Off you go then. Thanks, Doc. You need any doctoring? Just let me know. Yeah. Take a look at me, Doc. What's feeling off today? What can you tell me? I think I soaked up some rads out there. Blood pooling in the gums, signs of anemia. Yeah, we better clean you up. Done. Now, is there anything else bothering you? No, we're done. All right. Hey, don't ruin my hard work by dying out there. Enjoy your stay. Hey. I hope Swanson didn't give you too hard a time at the gate. If you ask me, I think he takes his job too seriously. But welcome. Everyone around here calls me Mrs. Fitzgerald. But you, cutie, can call me Penny. Nice to meet a friendly face. You're in luck, then. Covenant is the friendliest place in the whole Commonwealth. You'll see. You here to shop? I'll make sure to give you a good price. Do you have time for a few questions? For you? <laughs> Certainly. 
The town looks really nice. How'd you manage that? Oh, thank you for noticing. Well, the menfolk would say good old-fashioned elbow grease keeps Covenant as the prettiest place in the Commonwealth. But between you and me, I think shrewd trading may play a big part. <laughs> People here are really friendly. Why's that? Everyone that passes the test is welcome to visit. But we are particular on who can live here. And having a positive attitude is important to us. Do you know anything about a missing caravan? You've been talking to Mr. Dan. I don't know what he's carrying on about. He's just stirring the pot, if you ask me. Why would he do that? Some people are just jealous when they see others leading a better life. And they'd like nothing better than to drag everyone down to their level. And Dan thinks he's the one helping people. He wouldn't know the first thing about making the Commonwealth a better, safer place. How does Covenant help people? Don't even get me started on what we... <laughs> you know, I think I left something in the oven. <laughs> I have to go. You take care. Penny. You here to shop? Do you have time for a few questions? For you? Hmm, <laughs> certainly. Do you know anything about a missing caravan? Oh, don't even get me started. Uh-huh. 